Hello, we're happy to present new nice page update 2.6. New text area type. We have added the new text area type in the form control. This field type supports entering long text in several lines, and user can use the enter key while typing text. The text area has the new rows property to specify the number of rows for this field, which is 4 by default. We have added the new checkbox type in the form control. We have also added the new properties required for the checkbox type. Now you can add a field to any position in the form. Currently, to enable the Back to Top feature, it is necessary to select the page and check the Back to Top box in the Property panel to the right. This control is still in beta and appears only when you scroll the page all the way down. We are working to prove that, so the control will work without scrolling. Automatic renaming of a page. In the menu editor, editing the page name for an item, the name of the site page is changed automatically. Button and hyperlink merged. During the usability test, we have noticed that many users add the button instead of the hyperlink, and vice versa. And after try to change those, we have merged the button and hyperlink controls. Now you can switch between the button and hyperlink in the presets and get the hyperlink, for example, by removing the fill and border of the previously added button. We have added the text color for the button state. Now you can change the text color for each state. We have added the no color option in the color picker. Also now you can remove the color in the toolbar and property panel for the menu and button. You can change the grid from boxed to white as well as to change the position of cells in one click. We have improved the tooltips while resizing the grid cells. Our usability test showed that many users had difficulties in finding blocks and element we have added two add buttons, which work similarly but open the corresponding blocks or elements section when clicked. Let's imagine that you would like to move a button to another block, which is far below and not visible on the screen. We have added the auto scroll feature. Now it is enough to drag an element to the edge of the screen to scroll automatically. We have discovered that the header did not have the top resize marker. We have fixed that. Some users still had difficulties in finding the overlap header feature. We have changed the behavior of the header overlap preset. Now this preset does not replace the current header, but only applies the overlapping. To reinforce the header overlap, we have added this property for the first block after the header. While dragging and dropping elements in a block, existing containers are shown with dotted lines. Our users liked the Expand Image to Background feature, however, new users did not find it. Therefore, we have added this operation both to the toolbar and the property panel. Our users did not find the Shade option. We decided to add an icon to illustrate it. We can also apply a color tone to an image. In the Add Icon dialog before, many users did not notice the search field in Icon Type tab. After installing the NicePage plugin, you can edit the header and the footer. Before, you had to install the NicePages theme for that. White Label. No NicePage while login. We have removed the Facebook and Google options in which White Label user could find NicePage labels. Best practices. We have changed the dialog warning about moving the menu out of the header. We have added the search allowing to simplify the selection of the needed design blocks. We have made various fixes and improvements. We have also added about 100 new block designs since the last update. We have also added new page templates with this update. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.